Hi everyone, welcome to researchmd.com. My name is Dr. Pramil Charyat. So today we're going to talk about a very important herbal medicine commonly used all around the world, the St. John's Wort. Okay, now um, let me introduce myself uh, before we go into. My name is again Dr. Pramil. I'm a chief medical officer of one of the large medical systems in the United States and I'm also an associate professor of, medic med associate professor of medicine at one of the large medical schools in the United States also. Now, let's you know, continue our topic today. Again, the topic name is St. John's Wort. We've been doing a series of uh, lectures on the um, toxic effect of this herbal medicine. You know, a lot of people take herbal medicine thinking there are no complications, right? So it's important to bring the complications to the public. Again, all of the presentations are based on pure scientific research. That means, you know, we do extensive literature search and then find out, um, you know, find the relevant scientific studies and bring it to your attention. I know there's a lot of uh, YouTube presentation, you know, not even doctors giving presentations about medical subject, and that's not the purpose of this presentation. And so again, let's talk about what is St. John's wort. Um, when you talk about the St. John's wort, it's an yellow flower. I mean, usually seen in the Europe, and uh, in the history go back, I, I mean, as back as like Greeks, they were used for the medicinal purposes by the Greek. And you may be wondering where's the name coming from about St. John's Wort, okay? St. John's, uh, St. John's Wort, it blooms around the time when the feast of St. John the Baptist happened. That's where it came from, St. John's Wort, okay? Now, let's look at like, um, what do we use St. John's Wort commonly used for? They usually use for like depression, menopausal syndrome, and ADHD. Depression is the word. There's a lot of uh, studies done, even meta-analysis. There is clearly benefits in the treatment of depression, okay? Now, let's look at, um, you know, let's look at, we did some literature search. I mean, the major study we found is published in the Journal of Geriatric Psychiatry and the Neurology, and the author is Dr. H. Walk. Um, and there's around like more than 3,000 patients, they did the drug monitoring and looking for the side effect. This is a very, very important study. Now, let's look back, what exactly did they find in the study? So the main complications we can expect when you take this medicine is gastrointestinal, your stomach, okay? You can have abdominal pain, you can have nausea, um, diarrhea, loss of appetite. The second thing is the allergic reaction. What are the allergic reactions? You can see rash and then pruritus. That means you'll be like a lot of itching and you can have like fatigue, dizziness and sleep disturbances. A palpitation and weakness also can be so um, it was noted in the study okay now the second study we looked at it it was published in a very reputable journal JAMA and it was a meta-analysis or a systematic review and it was published by Dr. Gaster now in the study they I mean you know this drug was found to be very safe without many complications they did not mention any complication I was kind of surprised um, okay, so let's summarize like uh, what are the, you know, what are the common side effects when people take or you can expect because you, you need to know, I'm not saying, you know, there are clearly benefits for this drug, okay, but it's also as a, um, as a patient and a physician, you need to understand what complications can expect. Okay, so main number one is the stomach, gastrointestinal symptoms. You can have diarrhea, you can have abdominal pain, belly pain, you can have loss of appetite, you can have, um, you know, again, we talk about diarrhea um, and abdominal pain, right? Now let's look at about the allergic symptoms you can expect. You can have a rash, you can have pruritus, that means itching, okay? They can have anxiety, you can have dizziness, you can have like euphoria symptoms, sleep disturbances, so palpitations, you can have weakness, tremor, uh, light sensitivity, um, eye visual symptoms like burning eyes being reported, and um, urinary symptoms also reported. But the main thing is you can have, you can expect is the gastrointestinal uh, symptoms and the uh, uh, rash or like uh, allergic reaction. Those are the main thing you have to worry about, okay? Now, <clears throat> let's look at like what happens, you know, if you're a pregnant person, the main question usually like, you know, a lot of patients come in, can I take this when I'm pregnant? 
please don't take it because there's not enough studies to tell us what's going to happen okay there are no studies so please don't take it if you're pregnancy or you're lactating because it it may affect the baby and the complications are huge okay um, thank you so much for watching we'll be back with another presentation soon god bless